play the opening to the main theme, you probably would. So Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, known in this version as A vous dirige maman by Mozart. So there's the Mozart bit ticked off of the title. And that was the seventh variation. Now I've been using that, but it's just one piece of music clearly that you could use to encourage my pupils to listen when we're doing our lessons. Now this could be online or it could be face to face. I've just been teaching online and here in the UK, well in England anyhow, we're just about to go back into lockdown. So I thought it might be useful to have a, a little idea to play around with in your lessons. So I've been doing using this piece to get the student to respond to show me whether they can hear the dynamics. So when I play loudly, they have to do a movement. Quite often we've started off with this, yeah? So whenever they hear me play loudly, they put their hands on the head. So what could you do for playing quietly? I will often say, maybe some of them come up with this idea, or it could be just something like this, or it could be that. And then I'd say, well, what about if the music starts quietly and get louder, what would you do? And they often go like this. And what about if it's loud and gets quieter? And of course they do that, don't they? So let's try that. Create your own three different movements. I might use all of them. I might not use any of them. Actually, there's one more, isn't there? There's a mezzo forte. So you've got to think if you do that for loud forte, maybe that's piano, maybe that's mezzo forte. And then maybe if you hear it get louder, you could think about that. Okay, so you're going to start with your hands on your head. And it's a lot of fun this because of course when you're doing things via zoom or online you can see them respond um in a, in a way that you you don't want to wait you till afterwards you want just an immediate response here we go exaggerating the dynamics so hopefully you could all hear. Now, I'm afraid I can't respond to any comments today because I'm, I'm doing this not facing the camera but you get the idea so take a piece of music it could be for example a piece that they're going to be learning um, either in that lesson or a little bit uh, a few lessons further on that was the very thing I did yesterday actually with a student I got them to respond like that and we were doing Ode to Joy and I got her to respond of course in the third line this is the very simple uh, version of Ode to Joy where it's okay and what I like to do even though the music doesn't tell you this officially of course but what we want it to do is go and get louder so that's where she showed me this so you might be saying, well, what about the crocodile bits? I get the moats, I get the listen. What about crocodiles? Okay, in schools, they when they do maths, they're taught more than and less than. And these are referred to as crocodile, crocodile mouths. So every child, certainly in the UK, knows about more than. And as soon as I mentioned this to this six-year-old, you know, oh yeah, we do more than. And of course they love the fact that they are, we're talking about something that they also know. More than, and that's exactly the same sign as for a crescendo, and less than, and that's the sign for a diminuendo. So more than, less than, crocodiles. Mozart, listening, and crocodiles. Have fun in your online lessons. Keep the movement going. Keep lots of things and activities happening. And it's still a lot of fun. All right. Bye bye.